Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel for some coverage of CES 2016, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Segway Butler, which is made by Xiaomi, who just recently acquired the Segway technology and all of their company stuff, including the patents and such. And they've also partnered with Intel in order to make, well, a combination scooter slash personal butler, kind of like Jarvis if Jarvis was uh, riding underneath your feet and with his head uh, up near your crotch. So the new sort of Segway butler device is a combination hoverboard, like those hoverboards that were recently in the news for lighting on fire or exploding, though I'm sure Segway probably doesn't have that particular problem, and when you get off of it, a little head pops up, sort of like a cute little um, emote head, like you would for like ASCII art or something. And it says hi to you, and it can do things probably like, you know, taking voice commands to help input things into your computer or schedule stuff for you. And it can also follow you around and do things like uh, check the door and not bump into everything in the house and knock it over. And the other thing that it can do is it's got an open platform where pretty much anyone can come in with a developer kit and design software for it or accessories for it so that it can do a little bit everything under the sun. But the only thing we can't quite figure out is who or what exactly this new robot butler is for. I mean, I don't know a lot of elderly people that would use sort of like a Segway, but I also don't know who really could use an in-house butler that can't really carry stuff or do much more than being like a glorified Siri robot. And I'm joined here today by my pal Triad Ninja, who's gonna help me talk about this. So Triad, what is your take on the sort of Intel Xiaomi partnership to work with Segway technology to make a personal butler thing? Well, first off, this thought just came to mind. You would probably have the same thing right now that this thing offers is if you were to take a Roomba and strap an iPhone to it and just turn Siri on, that'd probably be what you would have at the end of the day if you just got this, if you got that thing versus just getting the Roomba, but the Roomba actually vacuums your floor. But in terms of anything else, I think this is really just Segway's way of trying to stay relevant. I mean, they came out with the initial concept of, you know, the two wheeled balance, self-balancing scooter. And after, you know, that kind of made its way through the markets or whatever, another manufacturer kind of recently this past year came out with the so aptly named hoverboard that is kind of built off of the idea of the self-balancing scooter. Just this one doesn't have handlebars and is smaller, thus letting you travel around, you know, just, you know, wherever you want to go, small, discreet, go a certain amount of speed. And so I think, you know, Segway being sort of the original creator of this kind of concept was trying to stay relevant and say, hey, you know, we had done this originally. Look what we can do now. Oh, wait, ours has a robot built in, except it, it doesn't really do much. And the sad part, too, is I think in trying to stay relevant, you know, normally if you do a project like this, unless it's absolutely like groundbreaking technology that's like, you know, going to wow people and like people are going to want to like, you know, fly to the stores to go grab this thing as soon as they can. The only other type of reason you'd want to sell this product would be is to, you know, help produce or promote your other products. Only problem is the only product the Segway has is their classic Segway scooters. And everybody who already has a Segway scooter now or whoever would buy a Segway scooter already has one, a.k.a., you know, like you'd see, you know, you may see traffic cops with them running around to give traffic tickets or, you know, check parking meters, stuff like that. Or Right. And Segways have always been a very niche thing that people may or may not have wanted, even back when they were still like this oddly untippable thing with a handlebar that I've mostly seen used in riding tours of cities, like a lot of historic cities on the coast. But what a lot of these sort of concept technologies end up being is just a way to say like, hey, look, we are Xiaomi slash Segway and Intel partnered up to make some really cool stuff with a mixture of artificial technology and like object awareness in a room so it doesn't knock things over and it can go find someone and uh, either follow them around and help them or answer the door for you and see who's there. Cause I mean, it can live stream as it's running around so you can see like from your wireless device what it sees. But the reality is this is just sort of one of those things. It's like, hey, look how cool we are. We made this. And if anything, a lot of this technology is going to be shuffled off into other projects so that they can like release a new hoverboard um, hopefully ones that don't go boom, and uh, also some new type of, like, artificial intelligence that you'd probably see in future Intel, you know, HP laptops. 
So I think that's about it, because I don't necessarily know anyone who would probably use these as a very much a butler, because, I mean, if you were having, like, an elderly grandparent who would need a personal assistant, you'd probably need something that was a little bit sturdier that they could grab onto for support, because they're not really known for their balance, especially on things that move with wheels. And also, at the same point, if you're somebody younger than that, and you're having trouble with mobility around your house... Actually, no, we're just gonna clip that last part out. We're just gonna end out here. So that's about all we've got for... Uh, the CES 2016 Segway Butler. I mean, let us know in the comments what you guys and gals think of this piece of technology and where you think that Intel is going to take it. But I mean, it's cute, it looks kind of interesting, and there's a lot of advanced technology into it. But again, we're pretty sure that it's just a, a proof of concept piece that's going to be used to further technology that they're going to be de developing later. Although they have announced that they are going to start selling development kits later this year, I think that's probably going to get shuttered not long after CES 2016. So that's it for this one. Thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra, joined by my pal Triad Ninja, and we'll catch you next time. Toodles, everybody.